Today we're doing part two of aspect ratios. Uh, yesterday we talked about aspect ratios of TVs and how we can use the aspect ratio, among other things, to determine the width and height. And today we're going to talk about aspect ratios with tires and how, among other things, we can use them to determine the circumference of the tire. So, some of you who are really into cars or are in auto tech might already know this. Um, but there's these letters and numbers that are, you know, carved basically into, molded into your tires. Um, and it might look like this. P215 slash 65 R15. Alright? And each of these numbers has a significance. Um, so, I'm going to draw a tire here. Make it 3D like a boss. Alright, so the 215, that's the width, and that's actually measured in millimeters, and it's talking about this space right here. The 15, that is the rim diameter, and that's measured in inches, it's like a C. And so in that case, we're talking about the rim diameter right here. And lastly, the 65 is the aspect ratio. And this time, it's height over width, and it is as a percent. And when it's talking about height over width, the width, I said, was here, and the height is like that. And if you notice, since this is a circle, all of this would have the same measure, pretending that I drew a perfect circle, right? That's all the same measure of height. Um, so, we're going to take this info, the width, the rim diameter, and the aspect ratio of height over width, and use it to find the circumference. So the good news is, this can be very clearly broken down into four straightforward steps. Um, First, we need to find the height. We have the width, but not the height. But since we have the aspect ratio, we can find it. So, step one, height over width equals, and this is the aspect ratio as a percent, so 65%, so we have to convert it to a decimal. So 65%, how do you convert that to a decimal? You just move the decimal point two places over, equals 0.65, okay? Now, I know that my width is 215, right? How do I find the height? How do I get cancel out the 215? Well, it's being divided by 215, so I have to do the opposite, which is multiply by 215. Okay, so this cancels out, and 0.65 times 215 is 139.75. Now remember, this is in millimeters. So for some reason, who knows why they do this, but this is in millimeters, this is in inches. If we're going to use both of them, they need to be the same um, unit of measure. Now, since we're America and we've got to be different from everybody else and not use the metric system, we're going to use inches. So we have to convert millimeters to inches, and that's the next step. So one inch is approximately 25.4 millimeters. Okay, that's just the conversion. So if the height is 139.75 millimeters, and we want to find out what it is in inches, we're going to do 139.75 divided by 25.4. And the 25.4 part, that is not specific to this example. Everything, every problem you do of this, it's 25.4. The height will change with different problems, but this stays 25.4. So height over 25.4, and that is equal to 5.502 
inches. All right. So first step is aspect ratio as a decimal times width. Second step, height divided by 25.4 to get height in inches. Third step, the third step is finding the diameter of the tire. So as you know, diameter is from one end of the circle to the other, this whole thing. So we got to think about what that would involve. Now, part of it involves the height, right? So you have the height as part of it, and then you have the rim diameter as part of it, right? Because we're going all the way across. So this is an H, then we have the rim diameter, and then up here, this part, well that's still the same measure as down here, so it's just another H. So we're going to make this be 2H. So 2H plus rim diameter. So as you can see, that's height, rim, height, gives you the full diameter of the wheel. Okay? So now I have my H, 5.502, and I'm given my R, 15, and that's going to be... That's all going to come out to be 26.004. And you can do it in the calculator, that's fine. Now, step four, circumference. And this is just the same old geometric uh, formula for circumference. Circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. So in this case, pi times 26.004. And that's going to come out to 81.694. That is the circumference of my wheel. Let me make sure that was on camera. Yes, awesome. It was going down a little bit past my marker for what's on camera. Okay, so the circumference here is 81.694. And it's four steps, and I'll write the four steps again after I erase this. Any questions? Okay, so, aspect ratio is a decimal times width, divided by 25.4 to convert to inches, 2 times height plus rim is diameter, and pi times diameter is circumference. So 81.694, I'm going to make a note of that. Okay, so again, I want to go over my four steps. Number one is aspect ratio, or I'll do it this way. Height equals aspect ratio times width. Step two, height in inches equals h divided by 25.4. Step 3, D equals 2H plus R. Step 4, C equals pi times D. It's just those four steps will always get you there. So, let's do another one. Um, P285 slash 75... R16. Okay. I'm going to write these steps again up here so I can have more room down here. aspect ratio. So that's 75%, so I call it 0.75 times width 285. 
and that will get me 213.75. Step two, h in inches is 213.75 divided by 25.4. Again, this 25.4 is in the general form. It's always 25.4. So, converting it to inches, that gets me 8.415 inches, and that's my height. Okay. Diameter is 2 times height plus rim, so 2 times 8.415 plus, my rim is 16 up here, and whoops, I almost forgot to write down what that is. And that comes out to be 32.83. And last but not least, circumference is pi times diameter. So that's pi times my answer from the last part, 32.83. And it gets me da -da -da -da, approximately 103.138. For my circumference. So there's my second example and I hope it wasn't too fast but it's really just straight up application of these four formulas and each one uses the info from the last. Your result from number one is used in number two. Your result from number two is used in number three. Your result from number three is used in number four. Okay. So it just builds up on itself until you get the circumference. Okay. So, why is this at all relevant in life? Well, the problem is, we know that some people like to get giant fancy tires on their cars. The cars come with normal sized tires, but people, especially, you know, guys who are insecure about their manliness, uh, want to get these giant souped up tires. Um, but the thing is, your speedometer and your odometer that measures your, how many miles you've gone, and thus your gas mileage, are all programmed in accordance with the factory issued tires. Um, so when you get these giant tires, it actually throws those gauges off on your car. So your car might say you're doing 60 miles an hour, but really you're going faster because of the tires. It's not accurately measuring. So you gotta watch out for that if you are um, getting giant tires. So how do you figure out how far off your speedometer and odometer are. How do you measure that? Well, using the circumferences of the tires. So the first example we did, we ended up with a um, circumference of 81.694 and this one we ended up with 103.138. So let's just say that your car came with the 81.694 uh, circum circumference tires, but you decided to upgrade to these 103.138 circumference tires. Here's how you can figure out what you're doing. C2 divided by C1, so that's the 103 divided by 81.694. That is the ratio of your new tire to your old tire circumference, right? And that gets you 1.262, okay? So the ratio of your new tire circumference to your old tire circumference is 1.262. Now let's say your speedometer says you're going 60 miles per hour. Your real speed is going to be 60 times 1.262, which is approximately 75.7 miles per hour. So this is dangerous because you might be in a um, area where the speed limit is 60 miles an hour and you think you're fine and then you get pulled over and ticketed for going 15 miles over the speed limit because you didn't realize you were going that fast. That would be an issue. Likewise, if your odometer says that you have 120,000 miles on your car, it's actually 120,000 times 
which will get you 151 for 40 miles on your car. So over 30,000 more miles that you put on your car that you don't realize that are there. And the one good thing, the one pleasant surprise, is that if you think you're getting 18 miles per gallon of gas, you're actually getting 18 times 1.262, 22.7, Two miles per gallon. Okay. So that is the point of the lesson. So we did two examples a smaller tire and a larger tire to show you the four steps. And then we can see the, um, the effects of these tire changes by comparing them with a ratio bigger divided by smaller. And then to find out your real speed and mileage you would multiply that ratio by the speed and mileage that you think you have. Okay. So the assignment questions are going to walk you through some of these steps and then it's going to have you um, calculate a few you know, new speeds and new mileages based on ratio between two tires. So that's the assignment and hop to it.